we're just telling you that we're expecting the government report and it is in now so the government has refuted claims that it made 631 promises in the MPP's manifesto. At the news conference, Information Minister Kujo Ponkroma insisted that the ruling party made 388 promises. Responding to the 14% score given by the NDC, Information Minister Kujo Ponkroma accused the NDC of engaging in intellectual dishonesty to downplay government's achievements. The purpose of seeking to increase the MPP's promises from 388 to 631 is very simple. It's twofold. As we get into the 2020 national conversation period, one of the narratives that they seek to carve is a narrative of dishonesty. And in order to give life or credence to that narrative, they have to create scenarios that if indeed we made 388 promises, they will find ways of adding to it some 235 and claim that we made 631 and in the end say therefore that we have been dishonest. So part of the strategy of increasing our promises from 388 to 631 is to enable them make a claim of dishonesty against this administration. A political group that failed to achieve the huge systems of their social contract in their first term doesn't have the moral right to question a group that is currently on track with about 78% of its social contract. A group that has no regard for its own social contract, the people of Ghana, should be seen for what they truly are. And when they attempt to distort the record of progress Ghana has made in recent years, we need to call them out. We want to conclude, very simple. If they are really minded to participate in a constructive conversation about Ghana's future, we are happy to have with them a debate of alternative policies. Alternatives, for example, on what it takes to revamp the Ghanaian economy. Alternative programs on agriculture. The 2020 conversation is about credible alternative policy proposals generally, and specifically in the areas of building a strong, robust, expanding economy that will provide jobs, incomes, and opportunities for the majority of our people.